looking like the morning, the morning run of a middle-aged man. We brought 14 teachers out. We let them come up with questions about our environment, test out those questions by collecting real data, come back and develop conclusions based on that data, and understand a little bit about how our, more about how our environment works. And what's amazing is they made unique discoveries. They found out things about how light penetrates into the water, what sort of organisms live in the water, and how all of this mixes together with the chemistry of the water to make for a healthy Potomac. In order to give our teachers an authentic scientific experience, Dr. Dan Squirrew, who teaches at George Mason University, took our teachers on a boat trip down the Occoquan River where they got to come up with scientific hypotheses, gather evidence, and come to conclusions whether those hypotheses had been supported or not. Our hope is that they then take this type of experience back to their classrooms and help their kids have more real-world science instruction. The, the Potomac River and the, by extension the Occoquan River and Occoquan Bay that we're in right now is it's a living laboratory, living in the sense that we have not just fish and, and little microorganisms and algae living there, but we also have these beautiful birds, the, the American Eagle, we have Blue Heron, we saw lots of osprey out today, and all of these things come together to create a habitat in which George Mason students, faculty, and community members can learn about our environment and our world without leaving Northern Virginia. We found snails, and we found clams, we found insect larvae, and we found worms. It uses us to keep the water um, out of the shell. What really amazes me about this is we take teachers and have them be students for a few hours and a few days out on the water and seeing how we actually interact with real world problems. And they respond so amazingly. They say, ah, oh, now I see how to connect this stuff to my kids, to my, to my communities, and really make it real. And they carry that through, that enthusiasm and the visceral experience of actually touching nature and seeing what's happening in nature. And the kids get excited when they're exposed to this from their teachers and they want to learn more about it. They want to explore these careers and eventually, hopefully, they'll even come back to Mason and be students in our own labs and classes. It looks like it's sprung. All right, we got something. Whoa, it's something that looked like a trying to jump to get it. Okay. Now up over the bow. Learning from Mason faculty showed me that um, science could be fun. I um, appreciated their enthusiasm, their passion for science, and it was amazing how much fun they made it. And it was comfortable because they weren't searching for the right answer all the time. And through their questioning and guidance, I realized that it was okay to make mistakes. We learned from those mistakes. Not everything worked, and that was okay of water if you drop it in at the falls, it could take up the well, I'm actually going out into nature, spending time with people, having a social experience, learning about our world, and learning how we can infect our world in a positive way. And for me, that, that social impact and the understanding of nature in nature with people is all together just like, it just makes me feel so happy.